putting spike tape where the bank is. Very helpful. Um, when I say lyrically, can y'all say twisted? Lyrically. Twisted. Lyrically. Twisted. Lyrically. Twisted. Why is our next poet? Lyrically twisted. LT is a poet from MCL from Moni, California. His work consists of creativity, originality, testimony, and a knack for inspiring others to pursue the things they love most in life. <laughs> he lives by three words. Purpose, persistence, and passion. Ladies and gentlemen, lyrically, let's get on stage. I still remember the conversations between me, my sisters, and brothers about how any one of these women walking past this could be our mother. You see, we didn't even have a clue of what you look like, but it's cool. Yeah, I did like But I know it's kind of sad, but, but it wasn't that bad. You see, it's hard to miss something that you never really had. I'm glad I was raised by my grandparents and my dad. They taught me how to be a man, and I loved them for that. That's why I. I always think about never getting trapped because I know they got my back and I always got theirs. You see, I often say a prayer because it's life ain't fair and I know you probably don't care, but tell me why. Tell me why you had to go. But most importantly, tell me why you had to come back because I swear it didn't change a thing. See, I remember it like it was yesterday on a Monday, October 4, 2004, the day we met for the first time. I ain't gonna lie, I was nervous. Now that I'm older, I wonder if it was worth it. Feeling that way, not knowing what to say. Wiping off sweat that didn't stop until you left. Because you had the nerve to tell me you would come back, but I haven't seen you since. Now, how do you explain that? And the crazy part is I know you in California for months at a time, and that just blows my mind because you came back. You made it seem like you cared, but now I see right through you. Lies him and there, trying to manipulate, playing dumb like you're not crying, telling you what happened, trying to blame it on my pops, like he's the reason why you left, like he's the reason why you were gone, but you're the one who left them six kids. Woo! You're the one who left them six kids to raise on his own, so tell me. Why? I see, it's weird reciting this poem because the funny thing is, before you came back, there was nothing negative in our hearts about you at all. My father told us that you loved us and that you didn't leave because of us. So when I thought you loved us like you had always been around, and every thought we had about you made us smile. No friends, you see, we even held you down when we were questioned by our friends about where you've been, even though you were hard to defend. But since then, a lot of things have changed. I'm no longer a kid and I no longer feel the same. And sometimes I feel ashamed that I would even say that I wish that I had never even met you that day. As I know you're still my mother and I wish that I could love you and accept you for who you are, but it's hard. So for now I'm letting go. Because I refuse to hold on and one day that may change, but I guess we'll never know so, so long. Say I go by the name Lurkin Twisted. We've got a little bit of time. We've got like two pieces for you guys. I am a hip hop artist and poet, amongst other things. I feel deeply about hip hop music being the way to change lives. And I feel that the industry uses it against us in a lot of different ways. So that's what this next one's about. <laughs> Modern day hip hop, tell me why you're not what I expected you to be in 2016. Now I understand that everything evolves and it changes and the times keep moving forward and everything can't stay the same, but it's a trip how rap can influence the masses. 
and all to the minds of our people with no enhancements. Our culture is the most hated, yet copied and duplicated, and even with this knowledge, tell me why the hell we still wait for things to change when we got the tools in our genes to fix the problems in our culture and in the world, but see, it seems that most of us are unaware. Either that or we don't care, so we perpetuate the stereotypes that make it clear that we ain't good for nothing but being allowed in cussing and leading the country in incarceration and gang banging. I'm saying if you're truly an artist who partakes in this lyrical expression, ask yourself this one question. What would you do if you could change the world? You see, we built this country. I dare you to say that we did. We made our mark in US history, so despite the critics were too strong to be defined as having weak minds. And there are people who are afraid of what we can do if we combine our perseverance with our voices and rap to change lives. Would that make the world a better place? You decide. Our youth will grow up knowing the true essence of hip-hop culture and understand it's a voice of a people who resemble soldiers. We've been fighting all our lives, trying to scale the town with power, looking for a piece of pie to devour, something that we should have had the right to desire in the first place, but instead was treated as less than human in the worst way. But enough about the past. Thanks to rap, we know where we're headed. We're poisoning our people, when you can tell them I said it. All we got is Kendrick, Fiasco, Cole, and a few contenders, but the rest of them are pawns in the industry. You push the agenda, and you know why? Because hip-hop is so powerful, and the industry knows it, and they use it as a way to keep all people at the lowest. You might ask, how is this possible? It's just music, but all the while, you see, it's much more than that. See, it's a culture. It's a lifestyle, and that's what makes the influence that much greater. That's why our children look at hip-hop today as an indicator of what our culture is about. The industry has no doubt that if they push these visuals, they got us foaming at the mouth, then we'll desire the things in this world that don't matter. Consumerism keeps us at the bottom of the ladder. Same day, you to the hood, don't Every corner so close to the liquor stores that you can smell the aroma. But we don't question why our lives are different compared to other places. We just blame it on the man and everybody is racist. In reality, we have the power to change the circumstances. And if you ask me what I would do to change the world, I think this music right here is the answer because hip hop, once again, is a culture. Hip hop is a lifestyle. Hip hop is a way of life, mind, body, and spirit, love. So that's what I'm gonna do to change the world. Twisted. Appreciate you guys being here. Thank you, JT, for hitting me up, letting me know about this, and uh, I'm saying we have to share with you all. Thank you, guys. Uh, so this is gonna be my last thing. I'll show you guys why they call me Larry Twisted. Oh, oh, oh. Show us. Oh, oh. Show us. <laughs> yeah. I'm back at it again. My lyrical status transcends the inner cell of your saying so that the madness began. Listen in. I'm on a level of wood never not possible. Considering the obstacles that your boy was subject to inducted into the statistic of the hood defines my existence. Come on. I beat the odds. And then I kept pushing like a run on a sentence and graduated from college a flow in the system because I wasn't supposed to make it called the divine invention. So like when I started writing, see, lyricism can't easy no tension. Don't need to mention. I create new verses like new inventions. So every line is patented all the way down to the diction. My mission is clear. New hip hop is near. Listen. My my work involves the dissecting of instruments to find lyrics that make sense for each incident. You see my sentiments on hip hop is I gotta provide substance rather than give you nothing because my lyrics push the scriptures of listeners and I'm conscious of it. See, this is for the creative souls if you didn't know. For the ones who stay persistent in reaching their goals. The ones that know that there's more than life and wealth. But for people who advocate for something greater than themselves. Those who strive to be different with minds that are independent. Who speak love in the words even if the body is listening. For the ones who exude passion with every ounce of the beat. Will understand and love and stand enough what they believe. And see, this is our life, and there is no twice. So we grind ass, and we don't have to rely on the roll of the dice. We just make moves, hope for the life we choose, living to do what we love, truly believe in what we do, while uh, making the time to give back to others. Because see, I'm just like you. So to my sisters and brothers, make sure you follow your dreams. Don't let anyone tell you different if you shoot for the stars. Remember that your effort determines distance. See, this is my determination. It's my sense of resolve. I'm the last of a dying breed, so I give my all. From my heart, this is my art. Genuine from the start, I'm the realest when I'm on the mic instead of just playing in the park. No acting, that's a fact. So people may tell you different, but listen closely, and hopefully you play your own position or whether you let it flow. A homie, you're finna blow. The ladies sing up the bomb, so I guess you'll never know where I'm going from here. But let me make myself clear. I determine my own success, and I promise by next year that you will be touching down in places you've never been. Performing in front of crowds over the way that I go in on this microphone. Check, like, 
cruising through the red light Cause I'm never stopping when I'm rocking out your head like this If you ever had a dream that you could be who you wanted This is your life, you don't feel like it's time for you to own it I swear to you that I'm on it, representing the Motor City You feel me, we're spitting these ugly phonics Breathing the buzz fast at the supersonic Cause I've been giving a real spit for the longest It's being honest, and tell me how you like me now I'm on the proud, I'm so impatient In translation, I'm singing my time as now I'm just scratching the surface We cite this when you prefer this LT spitting that really be doing it with a purpose like that oh.